Hello, my name is Shima Vesuvian, and I'm a pencil artist. Welcome to my drawing tutorials. In this video, I want to introduce you to all the tools you need for drawing. The first and simplest thing is a mechanical pencil. Mechanical pencils have different brands and different numbers, but they are most useful for drawing the initial design. So its brand doesn't matter much, you can get any brand you like. And the mechanical pencil numbers between 0.3 or 0.5 or 0.7 are suitable. The use of mechanical pencils depends on your taste. I use a mechanical pencil 0.3 to draw designs that are both pale and thin. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that we can grow and succeed together. The next tool is the pencil. Pencils have different numbers. If you look carefully, pencils of any brand usually show a number and a letter, which is usually H, B, or F, which have different numbers. Now, I want to explain to you more so that you can understand better if we consider a diagram. There is HB in the middle of this diagram, which HBs are the same pencils that we use. As much as this HB moves towards B, we have different numbers between 2B or 7B or 8B and above. Our pencils are bolder and softer, and the pencils we use in drawing, as you can see, I have 7B. If it moves towards H, the higher these numbers go, the brighter and harder the pencils become. There are other pencils like F, but I don't use them. This is one of the categories that we don't use much because we use mechanical pencils here for the thin and pale design. So, for us, numbers 6B, 7B, or 8B are the most effective. So you can prepare any of these numbers you want and use them in the drawing. The next tool is the charcoal pencil. There are different types and numbers of charcoal pencils. You can use any brand you want. We have the white charcoal pencil here. You can use any brand. Any brand that you could get is good and will work for you, you don't need to pay much attention to the details. Next is a black charcoal pencil, which is very useful for us. In different brands, try to choose the darkest one. The brand that I use here shows darkness and lightness with the number, in other brands it may show with soft, medium, and hard, but you can get the darkest color you can, and work with it. It depends on you which brand to use and it doesn't make much difference. The next tool that I want to introduce to you is the blending stump. Blending stumps have different sizes. Many designers may use a large blender, medium or small, or some have all three, it depends on which one you are comfortable with, but even one blending stump is enough, small, large, or medium. It is easier if you use a medium size. And the brand does not matter, blending stumps are simple things and normally different brands have no effect on their quality, so buy whatever you can. The next item is the rubber eraser or eraser pen. It is like a mechanical pencil made of an eraser. It doesn't matter what brand it is, we use it a lot, but all brands are good. The next item is an eraser pencil. An eraser pencil is exactly like a pencil made from an eraser, but it doesn't erase completely, and I use it to create very pale shadows and textures, it doesn't matter the brand, and you can get it from any market near you. The next item is an electric eraser pen. There are different brands of electric erasers and has different sizes, small or large, which are usually found in the packages that you buy. You can buy any brand that is available in the markets near you. What series you use depends on you and what kind of shape you want to use and what is more convenient for you. I am more comfortable with the large size of the erasers, but some may have a different opinion so you can choose this yourself. 
The next item is kneaded eraser. A kneaded eraser is very important, first of all, it doesn't create a small mess on the drawing like normal erasers, and it can keep the work much cleaner and your drawing won't be dirty, we can make the grays lighter in some places, or the gray that creates we want to give it a special texture that we don't want to completely erase, we use a kneaded eraser. There are different brands of kneaded erasers, which do not affect their quality much, and you can get whatever you want. The next item that we use a lot in different places is the cutter. Cutters and their blades have different sizes. As you can see, my cutter is a 30 degree cutter, you can also use a 45 degree cutter. What I use is a 30 degree cutter because I think they are sharper. Again, it depends on you, but I suggest 30 degrees. Let's go to the brushes. My first and biggest brush is flat wash. As you can see, I wrapped paper tape around the brush. This is so that my brush will give me more concentrated shadows and not spread my shadows. Also, when it is focused on where I want to make a background or I want to add black to it, I can make the design black and uniform much more easily. So you can use this brush from size 30 because it is the medium size. The choice of the brush depends on the size of the design you draw which you will realize over time. It depends on you. You may use 30 or 50 or 60 and larger or smaller size brushes. But the 30 brush has a medium size and it can help me in paintings from 30 by 40 to 100 by 70 and I use this number. Brushes have different models, brands, and numbers, and they may be different in different cities and countries. So I will tell you the type of brush and you will buy and use similar brushes with the picture and information I give you. Stock. This brush has a flat head and is extremely hard and dry. I use this type of brush to create uniform texture and shade. The brand of the brush is not very important and the important thing is to touch it and choose hard and flat like this. This brush is number 20 but the numbers also depend on the size of your painting. I also have number 10 of the same type. Flat and dry. Flat shader. Look at these two brushes. One of them is new and the other has been used for a while. Do not think that the brush must always be new. An old brush can give you a soft and suitable shade. Look here. I cut and trimmed a brush with a cutter to create some thin and fine lines and create hair. That I can create a different texture with it. So buy two brushes and shorten one of them. Bright shader. The next brush is small, but make sure that the head is flat and soft. This brush is quite soft, and I cut it short and put paper tape around it. So that it is focused and I can draw a line with it. I have the number zero, which is very small. Filbert. The next brush is Filbert. It is very important, and I also put this with paper tape so that I can draw special lines with it. Number six to ten is suitable, which of course depends on the size of the painting. This brush is soft and has a semicircular head. Even I sometimes use makeup brushes that are soft instead of this brush. The next item is pencil powder or graphite powder. I have a B1 number, but you can get a B1 number or the darkest depending on where you live and work with it and draw in my way if you want. The next thing we use to sharpen blending stump and eraser pencils and charcoal pencils is sandpaper. Sandpaper has different shapes, it can be cubed or it can be a sheet, the size of the sandpaper should be medium, not too soft, and not too rough which you can get in the brand is not much different. These are the supplies we need for drawing. There are many more supplies that we can use, but these are the most important ones, and if you prepare these, you can easily draw the best drawings. Thanks for watching my drawing tutorial video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell to see my new drawing tutorial videos as soon as possible. Wishing you success!